Today's video is a prom inspired makeup tutorial using gloss and glitter, my favorite. If you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. Okay. So I already have my brows done. Uh, it takes me really long to do them, so I just did them off camera. If you guys would like to see how I got my brows to look like this, then I will link my eyebrow tutorial in the description box below. So to start off, I'm going to be using the Smashbox lid primer to prime my eyes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes with some Studio Fix powder. Just so that it's not gonna crease, or it doesn't crease. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Soft Glam palette. I honestly love this palette because it's such a neutral toned palette. You can use it for like an everyday makeup look or you could even use it for an occasion such as prom. To start off, I'm going to be using the shade Rustic for my transition shade. And I'm using the brush um, E40 by Sigma. I'm going to switch over to MAC 222 and I'm going to grab the shade Sienna. I'm going to add that into my crease as well. It's more of a warmer shade, give some warmth to my eyes. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Cypress Umber and I'm going to put that in the corners of my eye to just deepen it a little bit. For my lid, I'm going to be using the shade Sultry. some rose pink on top I'm gonna add the Stila rose gold retro glitter on top So I did my lashes off camera. I use the Huda Beauty lashes and the style Sasha. They are really dramatic and I think that they are perfect for occasions like prom. To prep my skin, I'm using the Prep and Prime Essential Oils by MAC. My skin's extremely dry right now, so this will help hydrate it. Smells like grapefruit. Next, I'm going to be using the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. I like to use this um, on my face to give me some glow. It adds like a nice sheen to your skin. That's what I love about it. You can wear it on its own or you can wear it under your foundation. Next, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. It's the orange corrector. I have a hyperpigmentation around my mouth area and then Sometimes my under eyes look a little bit dark too, so I'm just gonna use this to correct. I'm just gonna pat it around my mouth. Put some under my eyes as well. And just blend it in a little bit. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am in the shade Cadiz. I love this foundation because it's super full coverage and it looks so good on your skin and on camera. I'm 
And then I'm just gonna take my Morphe blender and just start blending. I love how this looks on my skin. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape. This concealer is probably the best concealer. The only downfall is the shade range. I have to mix two shades. I use the shades Tan Sand and Deep. I mix them and then I get somewhat of a highlight shade. I'm just gonna be putting the concealer just underneath my eyes. This concealer is super full coverage. Just gonna put it on my chin as well to brighten that area on my forehead as well. My five head, I mean. And down the bridge of my nose, just to highlight that area. I'm also just gonna pull my concealer out this way just to give my eyeshadow a sharper look. And then I'm just gonna blend everything in. So for my contour or cream contour, I'm gonna be using the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in shade number 14. Contouring is my favorite step in my makeup routine, I think. Just gonna put it down there. Here. I'm just gonna take my blender and blend all of that in. Just remember when you are contouring or blending in your contour, you don't want to bring it down. You want to keep it up just so it has that lifted effect or look. Ooh. And even your contour on the top of your forehead, you wanna push it in and not bring it down. Sometimes I bring it down just to blend it so it doesn't look like it's like a harsh line. But you wanna push the product into your hairline. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. But before you set your under eyes, you wanna make sure that you don't have any creases. This powder is so nice because it has, well, it's, it's yellow and it looks really good on brown skin. It doesn't look too white, it doesn't leave an ashy finish. I'm just gonna put some on my chin as well. Does that look funny? No, just gonna put it around my mouth area as well. I tend to crease a lot in this area. For bronzer, I'm just using the NYX Hydra Touch Foundation in the shade Sable. I really like this one because it's really uh, warm. It just warms up your skin. And I kind of put it above my contour line. Just gonna put it underneath here as well. And on my forehead. I'm just gonna contour as well. I'm just using the medium to tan contour powder kit. The one in the middle, I'm pretty sure this is Havana. I create a line and then start blending. So for my highlight, I'm gonna be using the Emrezi. Emrezi? Emrezi. I'm not sure how, how you say your name, but her highlighter. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my light is popping. Just gonna put some on my forehead as well. My chin. Down my nose. What do you see that? Yep. Mm -hmm. For my blush, I'm using the Morphe 9N palette. I'm just gonna pop this shade on right here. I think I put on a little too much. So I'm gonna blend it all in. And 
So I'm gonna go back into the Soft Glam palette and finish my under eyes. I'm just gonna take the shade Rustic and run that underneath with a blending brush. I'm gonna use Sienna as well. Just to warm it up. I'm gonna take a more detailed brush. This is the Sephora brush in number 18. I'm gonna take Cypress Umber and just hit the corners with it. I'm also gonna take the shade Glistening and pop that in the inner corners. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with the Brimel Scandal Eyes Coal Eyeliner Pencil and just line my waterline. I'm also gonna tight line. Then I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic. are pretty much done mm. I love it I kind of really like the glitter at the top of my eyes and I'm thinking of taking this Stila rose gold retro the one that I used on top and just putting a little bit of it at the bottom you like it I think I like it too it's different I like it I like it. So for my lips, I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner. It's the Annabelle brand in Espresso. It's so affordable and it looks exactly like MAC Chestnut, except it's like four times less the price, if that makes sense. Less the price? It's cheaper. Four times cheaper. Should I just leave it like this? No? Then I'm gonna go in with Velvet Teddy by MAC. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm on top of my lipstick to add a little pop. Just in the center. I'm just gonna set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that completes the look. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, then please click the like button and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.